Hello and welcome to Wildlife Cam. We seem to have two little groups of warthogs that visit at the moment. This one with two babies and then there's another one with only one baby. So they've already had quite a lot of attrition this season. We've hardly had any elephants in the last month or two, but they've made up for it this last week. They do have famously impressive farting skills. And this is a male redback shrike and they're preparing I would think within the next few weeks to make their way back to Europe or Asia. This is one of the few big bulls we get around here. We generally don't get massive tuskers because they enjoy their peace and quiet and they don't like to hang around in areas where there are too many people. But this one is pretty big by our standards, so it was nice to see him. Now later on, the same day that the clip was taken, an elephant with one tusk killed another elephant. They were having a fight in the river nearby and the loser turned to run away and unfortunately fell over and the, the winner came in and gored him to death. Now I assumed it was this guy, but it turns out it was a different one tusk elephant. He was smaller and he was missing his right tusk, not his left his left tusk. Now this one you can see is in must, which is a heightened emotional state. You can see it, the secretion on the side of his head. And that normally means they are hyper aggressive, which is one of the reasons why I assumed it was this one who'd killed the other elephant. A couple of hammer corps not really enjoying the weather. Now 
Uh, wildebeest still hanging in there. There was one other wildebeest that lived on an open area a, ca a couple of kilometers away, but that one hasn't been seen for months, so this is almost certainly the very last one left. And the reason why they've diminished to virtually zero is that they were introduced some years ago, I think about 25 or 26 were introduced, and it's just not the right habitat for them. So the only ones that were really pleased with the whole thing were the lions. The trail camera's been slightly busier now. I think as we get into the dry season, it'll get better and better. Not too many zebras down there, so this was nice to see. Most likely Ramses, but I can't be sure on the march. Usually quite a common visitor in front of the trail camera, but we haven't seen much of the Sharps Gracebook this summer. Very sharp horns the Impala has, but they don't seem to use them in self-defense very much. Now regular bushbuck on the right and that crazy little bird on the left hand side, the bottom left, is a paradise wider. That's the male with his ridiculous plumage which he will lose once they move out of the breeding season. This is the mother with only one baby left. Hummer corps will eat pretty much anything they can find in the water. They'll eat fish, although they're not very good at catching fish. They're more adept at getting slow moving things like frogs and crabs and snails and insects.
The treat inside this ice cream container is a lovely large centipede which developed the habit of popping out of the drain in the shower and frightening people while they were having a shower so I took him outside to let it go. Now they do have modified legs. The very first pair of legs just next to the head is modified into venom stabbing device so they can give you a very painful well I don't know if you would call it a bite or a sting I think it's most likely a bite but you you really have to be picking them up to get bitten by them Elephants have now made their own little pathway right next to the camera, so I can expect to see a lot more of these sort of close-ups in the future. She's missing the tip of her trunk most likely due to a wire snare. And finally some hyenas came in for a swim and a play. Seems that lately they've been either bypassing the waterhole or just stopping for a quick drink, but this time they had a bit of time to fool around. Thanks for watching.